This is the key to Written Homework 53. Okay, so we're told that AN is a geometric sequence and we're given two terms. And we are instructed to put it in standard form. So remember that the standard form uh, looks like this. So AN is some A multiplied by R to N minus 1. <clears throat> so the things that we know is that AN plus 1 over AN, well that's R. Uh, that's why it's called a geometric series because the ratio of consecutive terms is this fixed uh, value R. So on part uh, on part A, the first exercise, we're given two, co two consecutive um, terms. Therefore we know that the ratio is going to be A3 divided by A2. We were given A3 and A2. <coughs> So that will be um, 64 over 9 divided by 16 over 3. And so division by a fraction, division by 16 over 3, is same as multiplication by its reciprocal. So this would be 64 over 9 multiplied by 3 over 16. Well, 3 over 9, that's uh, 3 in the denominator. And 64 over 16, that's 4 in the numerator. So the ratio is 4 thirds. Okay. <clears throat> so what we know is that an is some a multiplied by 4 thirds to n minus 1. We determined r, but we have yet to determine a. Therefore, we know two things. So on the one hand, we were given that a2 is 16 over 3 and on the other hand, we also know that A2, well that should be the unknown A, multiplied by 4 thirds to 1. <coughs> because it's in N is 2, and the exponent is in minus 1. So we know that <coughs> Sixteen thirds is a multiplied by four thirds. And so if we multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of four thirds, we have sixteen over three uh, multiplied by three over four is a. <coughs> the threes cancel. Sixteen over four is four. So that tells us that A is 4. And therefore we have determined both A and R. So we know that the sequence AN is 4 multiplied by 4 thirds to N minus 1. That's the answer to part A. <coughs> part B <coughs> What we know is we know that Bn, because it's a geometric sequence, is some fixed B multiplied by R to N minus 1. Now, in part A, we were given two uh, consecutive terms in the sequence. In part B, 
we have b2 and b5. Those are not consecutive. So this exercise is slightly more uh, involved than part a. What we know is that uh, b2, well, that's going to be b multiplied by r to 1. And b3, that's going to be the same b, uh, no, b5. as the same b multiplied by the same r to exponent 4. Okay, and we know that b2 is 15, and we know that b5 is 405. So we can construct the ratio b5 over b2. So b5 over b2, uh, b5, <laughs> subscript 5, b5 over b2. On the one hand, that's 405 over 15. And on the other hand, uh, that is b multiplied by r to 4 divided by b multiplied by r to 1. So simplifying that, <coughs> 405 divided by 15, well that's 27, so 27 is equal to, now notice the b's cancel, the b's cancel, and uh, you have r to 4 divided by r. So then 27 is r cubed. <coughs> and therefore, we have that r is equal to 3, because that's the cube root of 27. And bn is now some unknown b multiplied by 3 to n minus 1. And now it's just like the end of the previous exercise. <coughs> so we could take either one of these pieces of data. I'll use the smaller one. So on the one hand, we know that b2 is 15. And on the other hand, we know that b2 is the unknown b multiplied by r to 1. So taking these two, we have 15, <coughs> ah, well, and furthermore, we know what the r is. The r is 3. So we know that 15 is b multiplied by 3, so that b is 5. And therefore, we know that bn is 5 multiplied by 3 to n minus 1. And that's the answer.